In this video, we are going to learn chloride ion or chlorine electron configuration. We usually uh, write the no, write the electron configuration of neutral uh, chlorine atom first. Then we will write the electron configuration of chloride ion. So let us write the electron configuration of uh, chl neutral chlorine first. It has 17 protons and 17 electrons, right? So, at first to write the electron configuration of chlorine, we'll, we'll write a sequence of this subshell SPDF. This is our first subshell, this is second, this is third, this is fourth. So, at first we have to consider this S and write it twice, SS. Then we need to consider this two, PS and write it twice, right, write it twice. Then we need to consider these three subshells together, DPS and write it twice, DPS and write it twice. Then we need to write this four subshell together, FDPS and you can write this uh, unit any times, FDPS, 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 right? There is no limit for writing this. Look, P can, S can hold maximum 2, P can 6, D can 10, and F can hold maximum 14. So let us distribute these 17 electrons, 2, 4, 6, 10, 12, 17. 17, right? So look, now S start from where? 1S, then 2S, 3S. P start from 2P, then 3P, right? So this is the electron configuration of chlorine. Now we'll, we, we are going to write the electron configuration of chloride ion. In chloride ion, we have uh, the atomic number of chlorine is 17, but for negative charge, we have to add one more electron. That is 17 plus 1, 18 electrons in chloride. So let us write the sequence like this. Or you can uh, write the electron configuration for chloride from this here. This chlorine has 17 and you need to add one electron to this electron configuration. The 18 electron or one electron will come to the 3P subshell because it can hold maximum 6. But here we have 5. So let us write 1S2, 2S2, 2P6, 3S2, 3P6. This is the electron configuration of chloride ion. Okay. Now, from, from the electron configuration of chlorine, look, here the valency shell is the third shell because uh, to find valency shell, you need to uh, find out the highest value of n principal quantum number. Here, highest value of n equal to 3. So, this is the outermost shell and in outermost shell, we are getting 2 plus 5, 7 valence electron and third shell is the valency shell. And for chloride ion, third shell is the valency shell and we have 8 uh, valence electron. Now, I will show you the shorthand configuration or abbreviate configuration or Nobel gas uh, notation for these two for chlorine atom and chloride ion. So you know that we have helium, neon, argon, right? The atomic number of argon is 18, neon is 10, and helium is 2. So the atomic number of chlorine is 17. So we have to check a Nobel gas that's atomic number is immediately lower than this 17, which is neon. So, neon has 10 atomic number means 10 valence electrons. So, you can substitute this by this neon. Then you have 3s2, 3p5. And for here also you can write the Nobel gas notation for this chloride ion. So, neon, then you have 3s2, 3p6. So this electron configuration and this electron configuration is called shorthand electron configuration for chlorine and shorthand electron configuration for chloride ion. And this electron configuration is called SPDF notation 
इलेक्ट्रॉन कॉन्फ़िगरेशन फॉर क्लोरीन और कंप्लीट इलेक्ट्रॉन कॉन्फ़िगरेशन फॉर क्लोरीन और लॉन्ग हैंड इलेक्ट्रॉन कॉन्फ़िगरेशन फॉर क्लोरीन एंड दिस इज कॉल्ड शॉर्ट हैंड इलेक्ट्रॉन कॉन्फ़िगरेशन फॉर क्लोरीन और एब्रिविएटेड इलेक्ट्रॉन कॉन्फ़िगरेशन फॉर क्लोरीन राइट एंड फॉर फॉर दिस वी कॉल नोबेल गैस इलेक्ट्रॉन कॉन्फ़िगरेशन फॉर क्लोराइड और शॉर्ट हैंड इलेक्ट्रॉन कॉन्फ़िगरेशन फॉर क्लोराइड ओके लेट मी शो यू द पेयर्ड एंड अनपेयर्ड इलेक्ट्रॉन्स टू दिस क्लोराइड आयन सो वी कैन वी कैन राइट द इलेक्ट्रॉन इलेक्ट्रॉन ऑर्बिटल डायग्राम फॉर क्लोराइड आयन एस सबसेल हैज वन बॉक्स P subshell has three box. That is, P subshell has three orbital. So let us write three s, then three p. It has three room. Right. So for three s, we have two electrons. So first electron will be like this, and second electron will be like this. That is, the spin of these two electron will be opposite. And 3p has six, so at first you have to place one electron, right? Then you have more three. Then you need to uh, do pairing. That is, this is the orbital configuration of uh, chloride ion. That is orbital diagram. This is the actually orbital diagram for chloride ion. This is another way to write electron configuration from this orbital. a uh, diagram or chloride we can say that we don't have any uh, unpaired electrons unpaired electrons right but we have one pair two pair three pair four pair and here we have 10 five pair five pair plus here one two three four pair that is nine pairs and we have nine pairs of electron and these are not unpaired these are nine paired electrons right so for now we will look for the unpaired and paired uh, electrons for chloride look so we can draw the orbital diagram for chlorine like this 3s then 3p So 3s has to, so we have to place here 3p5. At first we have to place one electron with similar spin. Then we have two more. Then it will pair. So in chlorine we are getting one unpaired, and we are getting one, two, three, three and five. Newton has five paired plus three, eight paired electrons, and one unpaired electrons. in chlorine i think you have uh, learned a lot thank you for watching this video be well